Um, at government, we're working uh, through a number of, of diseases, and some of them are of zoonotic importance. Zoonotic importance refers to uh, diseases transmissible between animals and human beings. One of the most interesting conditions, the disease that we're working on, is tiniasis. And in layman terms, uh, it basically means tapeworms in human beings. We have two types of tapeworms that affect human beings from animals. One of them is Tinea saginata, that goes through its life cycle through cattle. And the other one is the Tinea solium, that goes through its life cycle through uh, pigs. The one that we're working on is the Tinea solium, the one that has part of its life cycle uh, in pigs. The adult tapeworm is in the intestine of, of the human being. Uh, it passes it out, uh, and the pig picks it up in grass or when it's rooting somewhere out in the field. The eggs in the tapeworm hatch in the intestines of the pig. The immature stages of the tapeworm then migrate within the tissues of the pig and eventually settle down within muscle tissue to form a cyst that was initially thought to be a different uh, parasite and was given the uh, scientific name Cystisaca cellulose. The story would have ended there, but unfortunately it doesn't. The next stage is when the pig is slaughtered and the meat is consumed by a human being, those cysts hatch in the stomach of a human being and then migrate down to the intestine and develop into the adult womb. The interesting thing about uh, the tinea solium, the tapeworm that comes from the pig, is that not all human beings have good hygiene uh, practices. It so happens it could be auto-infection, meaning that you infect yourself the intermediate stage that I described as developing the pig, if there's auto-infection back in the human being, the eggs hatch in the human being, and the immature stages develop in the intestines of a human being, they then migrate through tissues of a person and form cysts, the cystisaca cellulose that we talked about in pigs, then settle down in different tissues in human beings. When they settle down in muscle, the cyst ends up there. At the very most, you'll find somebody complaining of muscle pain and nothing more. But the most spectacular one is when the cysts uh, get deposited through the bloodstream in the brain. This becomes a lesion in the brain and triggers the development of something that is called neurocysticycosis. The signs or symptoms of neurocysticycosis are uh, epileptic-like seizures. Somebody believes, beha uh, beg your pardon, somebody develops epilepsy as a result of infection through the tinea solium, through the, the tap wound. And our intervention in the whole process to develop a vaccine that will break the cycle and stop human beings getting infected through the pig. The work we're doing at the moment is the development of a vaccine uh, and a dewormer, the vaccine stops new infection and the dewormer kills uh, whatever stage of, of the tapeworm may still be in the pig. That's our level of intervention.